Danny was afraid of the dark. His closet, under his bed. These things were all to be expected. He was only six after all. That week, however, his mother Lori was on a business trip and his father, William, was performing double duty. That night started like any other. William laid his son to sleep, tucked him in, read him a bedtime story, turned off Danny's lamp and went to go lay down and read a book. William laid there reading in absolute silence for a little under an hour before he heard his son's voice call out to him at about 9 p.m. Dad, could you come here for a minute? Sure thing, I'll be right there. William got up out of bed and walked to his son's room. Once he got to the dark room, he turned his son's bedside lamp back on, only to find his son cowering in fear in the middle of the bed, with the covers and blankets pulled up to his face. Are you all right, buddy? What's wrong? Asked William lovingly, but tiredly. There's something under the bed, said Danny, shivering. William nodded sympathetically and said, Would you like me to check, check it out? Danny nodded. William crouched down to the floor to get a better look and lifted his son's sheets from the floor to fully see under the bed. What he saw made him go white and sent a pang of fear through his body. It was his son, Danny, even more in fear than the one in the bed. He looked up at his father shaking and crying, trying his best to keep quiet. Dad, don't trust the thing in the bed. William, now shivering in fear himself, slowly puts the sheets back down and gets back up as the lights go out. As he stood up fully, all he could make out in the darkness was a black figure in the shape of a semi-human looking young boy with bright blood red eyes. Six of them. Frozen in fear, all he heard was the deep, sinister laughing of the thing in the bed. He then finally cried out in fear, and then within seconds, there was silence. A week had passed when Lori came back from her business trip. She arrived home at nine at night, having had a late flight and being stuck in traffic for half of the evening. She unlocked the door of the dark, silent house and entered her home. Honey, I'm home. She called out. She knew William had to be at home because his car was in the driveway. And he wasn't usually asleep at this time of night. Maybe he's all tired from the week of having to perform double duty. She thought this as she walked up the stairs to her bedroom. She started to smell something foul as she heard her son's voice call out to her. Mom, could you come here for a minute? 